dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream, that that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible, that some of you already know that it's hard. It's not easy. It's hard changing your life. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself and say, God, why, why is this happening to me? I'm just trying to take care of my children and my mother. I'm not trying to steal or rob from anybody. Why did this have to happen to me? For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. Greatness is not this wonderful, esoteric, elusive, God-like feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very important for you to believe that you are the one. Most people, they raise a family, they earn a living, and then they die. They stop growing, they stop working on themselves, they stop stretching, they stop pushing themselves. That a lot of people like to complain, but they don't want to do anything about their situation. And most people don't work on their dreams. Why? One is because of fear. The fear of failure. What if things don't work out? And the fear of success. What if they do and I can't handle it? These are not risk takers. You spend so much time with other people. You spend so much time trying to get people to like you. You know other people more than you know yourself. You've studied them. You know about them. You want to hang out like them. You want to be just like them. And you know what? You've invested so much time in them. You don't know who you are. I challenge you to spend time by yourself. It's necessary that you get the losers out of your life if you want to live your dream. But people who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. When you become the right person, what you do is you start separating yourself from other people. You begin to have a certain uniqueness. As long as you're following other people, as long as you're being a copycat, you will never ever be the best copycat in the world. But you will be the best you could be. I'm telling you to, to define your value. That everybody won't see it that everybody won't join you, that everybody won't have the vision. It's necessary to know that, that you are an uncommon breed. It's necessary that you align yourself with people and attract people into your business who are hungry, people who are unstoppable and unreasonable, people who are refusing to leave life just as it is and who want more. The people that are living their dream of finding winners to attach themselves to. The people that are living their dreams are the people that know that it's, if it's going to happen, it's up to them. If you want to be more successful, if you want to have and do stuff you ain't never done before, number two, I'm asking you to invest in you. To invest in you. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. That you don't have to go through life being a victim. And even though you face disappointments, you have to know within yourself that I can do this. Even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die for it, period. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. I want to represent an idea. I want to represent possibilities. And some of you right now, you want to be, you know what I'm saying, you want to go to the next level. I want to counsel, you know, I want to be an engineer, I want to be a doctor, listen to me. You can't get to that level. You can't get to the level economically where you want to be until you start investing in your mind. You're not reading books. I'm challenging y'all to go to conferences. I dare you to invest time. I dare you to be alone. I dare you to spend an hour getting to know yourself.
When you become who you are, when you become the person that you were created to be, designed to be who you were designed to be, when you become an individual, what you do is you take yourself and you start separating yourself from other people. I challenge you to get to a place where people don't like you, it don't even bother you no more. Why? Because you're not concerned with trying to make them happy because you're trying to blow up. You're trying to get to the next level. I need you to invest in your mind. Invest in your mind. If you still talk about your dream, if you still talk about your goal, but you have not done anything, just take the first step. That you can make your parents proud, you can make your school proud, you can touch millions of people's lives, and the world will never be the same again because you came this way. Don't let nobody steal your dream. After we face a rejection and a no, or we have a meeting and no one shows up, or somebody say, you can count on me, and they don't come through. What if we have that kind of attitude, the cause repossessed, nobody believes in you, you've lost again and again and again, the lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and saying to yourself, it's not over until I win. You can live your dream! Hi, I'm Lee McConnell and I was a professional athlete. I went to three Commonwealth Games, four European Championships, five World Championships, and three Olympic Games. Between them, I won a total of nine major championship medals and all because I worked really hard for what I wanted. If you want something bad enough, you can achieve it if you work really hard for it. Hi, I'm Layla and I'm a counsellor. I work with adults and young people, charities, schools and in private practice and you can do that too. Hello, I'm Rebecca. I did A-levels at sixth form. I then studied a HND in business development and marketing at uni and um, have developed my career in those types of roles for various different companies including a demolition company um, and a law firm and most recently I set up my own unique business based on a niche area that I thought was missing something and it's growing more and more. I only started it in May 2015 and already it's getting quite successful which I'm really happy about. But I just wanted to take the time and say that Year 9s uh, at Everest, Mrs Hazel's Year 9s, you can do it too. Hi Mrs Hazel's Year 9 class, I'm Kelly Massey and I'm here at the Olympic Trials where I've just made the final. Um, altogether I've got seven international medals and this has happened because I believe in myself. So you can do anything you want if you believe in yourself. Hi, I'm Sophia, I'm a trainee psychologist and I work in a secure hospital. If you want to do a career in psychology, you'll need to do an undergraduate degree, which takes three years. You can then go on to do postgraduate training in different areas of applied psychology. It's quite challenging and it can be difficult at times, but it's very interesting and very rewarding. Hi, I'm Kirsten, I own London Grace, a nail bar, coffee shop and cocktail bar in London. We started a year and a half ago, so not too long, but we've now got two stores and a team of 21, 22. We've got a new join the next week. Um, and I just want to tell you guys that you can do it. Anyone can do it. Just all it requires is hard work, and you've got to believe in yourself. Um, ask people for help. I'm constantly asking people questions, um, but you've just got to make sure that you really knuckle down, you make sure you've got a great product, that your team are happy, and you enjoy it more importantly, you've got to love it. I think, I, I would love to encourage more people to start their own business, um, and I wish you all the best of luck. And I think Isha and China, I think all I want to say to you is you can do it, and if you have any questions to me, please do get in touch. Thank you. Hi Everest Year 9s, um, I'm here to talk to you about aspiration. My aspiration since I was a little girl was to be a hairdresser. I've achieved that and now I've come into teaching. Um, it's just proof, I'm living proof of how much uh, career paths the industry can lead you to. If you dream it, you can achieve it, especially you, Sophie and Charlotte. This is a message from Mrs Hazel's Year 9s. Study hard at school and you can do really well. I studied electronics and computers at school, went on to do science at university, and oh, what's that behind me? Oh, that's a Ferrari. 
that's because I started my own company up 24 years ago, worked hard, used my science, and now I'm successful. And you can be too if you work hard and study hard. So good luck, everyone. Hello. Year 9 in Everest. Uh, this is a message to wish you all the very best of luck with your future. And um, get your head down. You can achieve whatever you want to achieve in life. If I've done it, then anyone can do it. What have I done? Not a lot. But I like it. Good luck. Go for it. This is a message for Everest Year 9s. I went to school in Basingstoke. I went to the Vine. Ever since then, I wanted to be a teacher. So today, you could say that I'm living my dreams. I went to university and I followed the path to becoming the career I wanted to do. Currently, you're Mrs. Hazel's Year 9s from September. You'll be Mr. Brown's Year 10s. And I'll light the fuse, and I'll never lose, and I choose to survive. is mine.